even heard of the ancient Greeks, Romans, and Persians, but who were the Khazars? The Khazars were the lords of medieval Eurasia. Their kingdom, Khazaria, established in the first century, quickly became a powerful empire comprising much of modern-day Russia, Western Eurasia, and Eastern Europe. The Khazars united all Eurasian tribes and offered peace and freedom of worship to everyone. Much of what we know about these tribes is a mix of myths and folklore. Herodotus wrote that the mighty Amazons lived along the shore of the Caspian Sea within the borders of later Khazaria. Some believe that the ten last tribes of ancient Israel, exiled by the Assyrian, settled in Khazaria. Medieval Russian epic poems mention the Khazars as giant. Some describe the Khazars as red-haired and blue-eyed people, while others consider them of Mongol origins. Using DNA, we can open a window to the world of the Khazars. We can answer questions such as, who were they, what happened to them, and where are they now? Were they enslaved by the conquerors, or were they absorbed into a different nation? But where can we get Khazarian DNA? One way to do that is to dig Khazarian graves and retrieve ancient DNA from their bones. However, such a project is very expensive. A more feasible way is to find the Khazars' living descendants and study their DNA. But where can we find them? To answer this question, there is one more thing you need to know about the Khazars. They were Jews. The Khazars were not always Jews. The first Khazars were shamans with a secret pagan religion that celebrated the unity and harmony of nature. Trapped between the clashes of the Christian Byzantine Empire and the Muslim Caliphate, the Khazars were attacked due to their faith, which prompted the religious conversion to a neutral religion. A different story tells us of the angel of the Lord who came to the Khazar king in his sleep and told him, your intentions are good, but your actions are not. The king invited the rabbi, a priest, and an imam to interpret his dream, and the rabbi won the debate. One way or another, the Khazars converted to Judaism in the 8th century and entered the Golden Era. The medieval Jewish empire flourished for five centuries after the conversion. Jews from all over the old world gravitated toward their new empire that became extremely wealthy. However, Drunk on their prosperity, the Khazars neglected their borders, and when the undefeatable Rus warrior attacked them, they fled from Khazaria and vanquished from history. Dr. Ronald Haik, a population geneticist from the Johns Hopkins University, has studied the Khazars for nearly a decade and collected the clues to their identity. Using powerful genetic tools, he is finally close to an answer. Our DNA is a mosaic of ancient ethnicities. Dr. El Haik has identified the Caucasus signature in the genome and is now ready to search for it in thousands of samples from 500 populations he acquired, including Jews, Europeans, and many other populations around the world. He expects this signature to be overrepresented in Jewish communities residing along the borders of ancient Khazaria. Can we be certain that this signature belongs to the Khazars? Fortunately, other Caucasus populations remained isolated in the Caucasus region. By finding the carriers of this Caucasus signature outside the Caucasus, we can get a glimpse into the origins of the Khazars. To uncover the Khazars' genomes and their cultural identity, we seek for your support. Since this type of analysis has never been done before, Dr. Haik has established the Khazar DNA project. You are invited on a historic journey through time and DNA. You will be able to follow the project progress through our website and exclusive blog, learning the results of the analysis in real time and sharing your thoughts. Khazaria was the last Jewish empire of the old world. Before the Khazars disappeared, they left their DNA embedded in some of our DNA, like little breadcrumbs for us to follow. Please join the Khazar DNA project to embark on this adventure and help us tell the fascinating story of these mysterious people who formed one of the most pluralistic and powerful societies in the old world where people of all faith and cultures lived in harmony.